math enthusiast. Welcome to Math with Ihan. In case you were wondering, I am Ihan. This is Math with me. This week, we are going to be solving a problem with counting principles and combinations. In how many ways can a math committee of three be chosen from a group of four Harvard and five Yale professors if the committee must have at least one person from Harvard? Here is the answer to the question. Now, the committee must have at least one professor from Harvard means that it will either have one member or two members or three members from Harvard and we need to analyze each of these cases separately. So, one Harvard shown by one H or in other words, I'm going to put plus and then two Yale, right? In how many ways I can choose one Harvard out of four Harvard professors will be combination of four out of one, right? Times combination of choosing two Yale professors out of five will be five by two. So if you do the calculation here, this will give us actually four times five, four over two, one, that will be equal to 40 ways of doing this, okay? And now, if I have two, actually two Harvard professors from the group, and then this will only leave me one Yale professor, and finally, if I choose three from Harvard, that means no professor from Yale will be in the group because the group size is only three people. So that being said, in how many ways I can choose two Harvard professors out of four will be combination problem of four by two times choosing one Yale professor out of five will be equal to combination five one. And after the calculation, this should give you uh, 30 ways of 30 groups. And finally, choosing Three Harvard professors out of four will be combination four three, and then choosing zero Yale will be combination five zero, and in total is going to give us four groups. And finally, I have the my answer will be addition of these three groups, which is forty plus thirty plus four equal to seventy four different groups. Will have at least. Harvard. Now it's time for math with you. I'm going to give you our problem of the week and I need you to help us solve it in the comments. Let's say Michael Jordan drops a basketball from the top of Willis Tower which is at a height of 1600 feet. The ball bounces back up to 800 feet for the first time. The second time the ball bounces back up to only 400 feet. Well if this pattern continues how much does the ball travel until it is at rest? Don't forget to watch next week's video for the answer. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check back every Friday for a new video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, check out our website and our social media.